Hey everyone, it's Robin. Um, back. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Um, it's just been a crazy last couple of months um, with the holiday season and you know people getting sick and you know just all kinds of stuff and rolled into one. Um, but I went to I went to come on here today and um, share my huge Dollar Tree haul that I got um, of Valentine's stuff. And I said to myself, I was not going to buy a lot of stuff for Valentine's Day because I bought a lot for Christmas and I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do with it. So now I'm stuck with more stuff. And so, you know, and then I go into the stores and I find such cute stuff and I just, I get it. Like, uh, the Dollar Tree is a devil, let me tell you. <laughs> um, but I just want to share some cute stuff that I found there and, um, I'm going to start with some of the signs I found. I believe these were from last year. They're the Gavin Dye's heart with the gnomes on the front. So cute. You know, you could just hang it like this or you can pop it on a reef. You can pop him off and do something else with the heart or do something else with the little gnome guy. They had this one and they had this one too. This one's my favorite. It's so cute. I was kind of happy I found these this year because last year couldn't find them anywhere. It was craziness. And then I would see them online. People sell them for like 10 times the worth. So I got those two. And I found this sign. If you guys, anyone has a dog or cat, I thought this was really cute. Home sweet home. And the pearls are in glitter. And it's a nice size sign. You can pop that on a reef, which I think I'm going to do for my front door. That is my plan. <laughs> But, um, it had a couple other, um, like, pet signs that I thought were really cute. But this was the one I grabbed. And then I got, I got this guy. He's definitely from last year. I was not able to find him last year either. And he is a nice size. You know, you could just make yourself a bow and put it on top of here. I mean, you can put him on a reef. Or you can just hang him like this. But he's a cute little dude. Let me see. And it's a pretty good height too, 12. So I about say 13 inches in height because this is a 12 inch ruler down here. So, and he also had this one in red, red and pink. And then they had this one, this is super cute. The truck with the three gnomes on the side, hanging out the back. I don't remember this from last year, um, but I thought this one was really cute. Again, you can just pop a bill on the top, hang it as is, put it on a reef or a swag. But if you're a gnome lover, these are very cute. And then I actually finally found this one. I think it took me three stores to find the kissing booth sign. This one's really cute also, which is about 12 and a half inches wide. So yeah, about right there. This one's really cute. Not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. Since it's like a oddly shaped sign. But I have to think of some ideas for this one. And then I found, <clears throat> which I'm sure everybody's looking for these, are the book stacks. Sorry, my dog is going crazy out there. These are the book stacks from the Dollar Tree. You know, you got to remember you're paying a dollar. And, you know, Dollar Tree is stepping up their game. And I know a lot of people make them out of the crates, I believe they, the Dollar Tree has. To make them look like book stacks. Just trying to open this. So. Sorry if I'm a little congested. I'm mean, like getting over a cold. There we go. So yeah, it's just, you know, it's Dollar Tree, but it's very light. It's really cute. Hugs and kisses. Love you always. And I would probably change out the bow. Because the bow is kind of flimsy. So. It's not bad though for a dollar. And it took me like three stores to find this too. <laughs> Sometimes you have to go searching for these Dollar Tree items. Because people just. They see them. And it's like over. And I found this sign. Which I thought was really, really cute. It says Welcome. And all the letters are in glitter. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. If I'm just going to hang it like this. Or take the hearts apart. 
I'm not sure yet. That one. And I have some non-Valentine signs. I just thought this was really cute. <laughs> um, they see me rolling, they hate me. I thought that was really cute. Be cute in the kitchen, like up on, you know, if you, I have like cabinets and I have like space between the, the top of my cabinets and the ceiling so I can stick stuff up there. So I thought that would look cute up there. Or you can use it for Christmas and turn it, you know, change the lettering you know add stuff to a gingerbread man maybe but these are really cute i didn't find them until after christmas so but i just thought it was really cute and then i found this family sign i believe this is a i think it's a magnet Hold on. <clears throat> some of these things they do not want you to open I'm just trying to see if like this is a magnet. Ooh. Oh, it is. Okay, so like there's like a magnetic piece on the back of this, and then I guess you put the picture to where it can stay, and then there's a magnet on there if you can see it. So then that way it just holds it, but I guess you'd have to pull it up more. <laughs> you gotta find the circle there you go and it has a sawtooth holder so you can just hang it up right on the wall but i thought it was really cute but i was actually going to do this part over they like dollar tree sells like um i don't know what to call it it's like laminate paper maybe and it looks like wood i did buy some i just know where i put it but i was going to redo the background so i thought that was cute Sorry, I was just looking. <laughs> and next, I have these silver or silver ceramic pedestal holders. Right, that's what they're called, I think. Yeah, so I got the red and white, and like you can put. I don't have anything in here. I can put it on here. Um, I was actually thinking of making a tear tray out of it. Um, I don't know if anyone, if you guys have seen, like, people make them out of, like, the plastic wedding platter plates and, like, spray paint it white or something and then just put it on top and then you have your, like, little tear tray for Valentine's Day. So, I think I'm going to try doing that. Or I might be able to do, like, two. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, so, and the next thing I found, these were another thing that's hard to find. And I've been finding them, like like one at a time i have two i just don't know where the other one is right now but the beaded garland this one says true love and it comes on what is that called i can't think of the word <laughs> i was gonna say tar but that's not it but it comes already done for you and i thought it'd be cute like i have my braid on mug that i actually found that TJ Maxx. I actually found a mug at TJ Maxx. And I was kind of excited. So I know people put them in here like this and let it hang out like that and put it on a tear tray. Something like that. Right over there like that. I don't have another one somewhere. I just don't know where it got to. And then I found these cute little envelope, metal envelopes. You see, I was going to put I was going to turn my tree into a Valentine's Day tree. Um, because my boyfriend gets so mad when I take down the Christmas tree and he gets all depressed and all this. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna make, make a Valentine's tree. But I didn't. <laughs> I'm actually trying to find a smaller tree because our Christmas tree is seven foot. I just think that's like a lot for a Valentine's Day tree and I'd have to find a lot of stuff to put on them. Um, but I was thinking these, the metal envelopes. They're actually cute if you want to put like a Valentine in there for somebody. If you have a cricket, you can put someone's name on there. Like if it's for a kid. They have them in pink. And then the metal, look, I guess like silver, pink, and then red. So I got a couple of these. So if I do, do a tree, I have more than one thing to put on there. And then back to the gnome craze. I found these gnome's picks. They're so cute. Again, I was going to put these in the tree too. So they had different color hats. So these are pretty cute. Ooh. 
I think I have one more color hat, different color hat. If I'm not mistaken. And then I got this cute sign that I didn't realize was kind of all you need is love. The cute block sign. This would be really cute on a tear tray. And look how thick it is. So it's pretty thick. And I had a couple different ones of these too. They look like jars, mason jars. And then there were these signs. These seem to be a big hit too. This one's love. It's like galvanized on the front. And then look at the thickness on there. I got love and XOXO. So this would be cute on a tear tray also. And then let's see what's next. Oh, I finally found these guys. More gnomes. <laughs> there aren't enough gnomes. But I found the plushies. They're so cute. So I got this one, pink and gray, red and blue, and then red and pink. So I think I'm gonna make a swag out of these, the Valentine's swag with the Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree. But I think I'm gonna do that with these. Just gotta make sure my dog doesn't get a hold of them. And then I also found these plushies. The little donut people, they're so cute. They had also, I think it was like a Sunday stuffed animal. And then I think a cupcake. These are also cute on a, um, a swag for a Valentine's Day swag. So I got four of them. Because again, I was thinking about the Valentine's Day tree. I was going to put that in there. And then I found the heart gumball machine. I could have sworn I had this in, oh yeah. I got it in pink and I have it in red. So these are also cute on the tear tray. They also be cute for like, you know, little gifts for the kids, fill them up with their favorite candy. <clears throat> And then if you have a cricket, you can put their names on it. But these were really cute. And then I got one of these. It's like a wooden paint your own. It's kind of like the metal envelopes where you can put like a Valentine in there and stuff, but you can just decorate yourself. This one has a gnome on it. But look at the detail. Like the Dollar Tree has really gotten very like intricate with their detailing of wood. I thought that was really cute. And then I found this sign. I love you always. Again, you can hang it on the wall. Also be cute on a tear tray. With like the mugs. Actually, that'd be kind of cute. And this is... See, they had all kinds of signs for like... Like these kind of signs for Valentine's Day. They had like... Um, yeah, this is about seven inches wide and five inches in length. But they had all kinds. They had, I mean, I don't really remember the sayings. And they also had them for like pets. About you know, if people only have like their pets for Valentine's Day. I guess you know, hey, why not? And um, but they had a lot of different signs this year. They also had this one that I like. It reminds me of a Scrabble board. It says "Be Mine" in the. Heart is glittery. Yeah. I thought that was really cute. And they had another one. It was a pink heart. Not quite sure what it said though. <laughs> but yeah, I like this one. And then we have this little sign. It's a little metal buggy. I thought that was cute. My boyfriend loves cars and he loves older Volkswagen Beetles. So I think I'm going to do something with this for him for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure what yet. Heartbreaker. <laughs> and then they had a red truck one like this too. And these ones are... Um, eight inches wide. I mean, eight inches in length. So that's very detailed also too. And then we have more gnomes. <laughs> you know, I kept telling myself, no more gnomes. I'm done with the gnomes. You know, I stopped myself on Christmas because I have so many gnomes. And then I see them for Valentine's Day and I'm like, they're so cute. And I saw him and I just thought he was so cute. So I'm like, I can just hang him like this because he's just so cute. And then there was this one too. 
the pink hat and glitter. And these are pretty good size too. I don't think it says on here. But yeah, I mean, you can put these in a wreath. We can just hang them as is. I know some people take stuff like this apart and revamp it, you know, but I like them how they are. They're really cute. And this one actually like, this one has like little feet on the bottom. So cute. <laughs> Um, and then I found these really pretty roses. They're like sticky paper flowers. Look how pretty those are. Glitter and all the roses. Very pretty. So if you like want to make a card for your Valentine or anybody, you can just stick these on there and you get three, six, five, you get 12 for a dollar. So I thought those were really pretty. And then I found a silicone chocolate mold. Cause I actually, I want to make some like, I want to make some chocolate hearts, but like with dark chocolate, um, because I do like low carb keto. So I do like, you know, I make my own chocolate and it's dark chocolate with coconut oil and all that. So I want to make like my own chocolate candies. So I thought this, you could also use this to make soaps too. I've seen people use these to make soaps. I've seen people use like molding clay to make just like heart decorations so you can do any, a lot of stuff with these and then I found this cute sign I guess that's kind of like a banner I think they had this last year but this is really cute too hugs kiss love it's just felt it's like on the felt backing and then like little buttons up here and a raffia I just thought that was really cute and then, what's next? Oh, these cute little picks they had. These would be great for me. my dog. Anybody want a Boston Terrier? Because take him off my hands. Because <laughs> he, he's a terror. He's like a Boston terror. Um, I found these cute little picks. Very pretty and glittery. Come with three hearts. And they actually have clips. So I guess they're not picks, they're clips are kind of easier so these can go right into a valentine's day tree which i probably have to go back and get some more if i do do the tree but yeah i like the ones with the clips because you can just clip them on the stuff and it's a lot easier but it'd be nice in like a, an arrangement like if you do like a candy arrangement for valentine's day for somebody you know where you get like the boxes of candy and you put more candy on the skewers you can like stick them right in there and then i also found some pretty floral pit floral I found these hearts with some baby breasts. I thought they were pretty. And then I found them in purple. But she doesn't really see purple too much. So I'm like, you know, red and pink you see all the time. But I thought these were really pretty. I can use these on the swag. So, and then I think the really last I have is a Valentine's garland. I seen another YouTuber, her name's Bethany. She made a reef with three pool, noodle, pool noodles and she wrapped it around with this and then just added like hearts on it. So I'm going to attempt to try and do that too. So I bought two things of the Valentine's Day garland. So, and if it doesn't work out, I could always use this on my tree. <laughs> so that, oh, well, I forgot one thing. And I got these guys. They're yardsticks. This one says, be mine. And then this one says love. And then they had another one. I think it was XOXO on a blue. But I think I'm going to pop these off and use them on a reef. Because I have no luck sticking these kind of items from the Dollar Tree in my yard for display. Because once it rains, they're just, they're gone. Like, they're just, they become like, they get you know soft and they end up bending and they look a hot mess so yeah i learned that with i think last year last year i think i had a new one out there or something like that no no, no it was halloween i had some out and one day after it rained it just they became mush and then i had some for christmas this year and once it rained forget it like it was just a mess so I don't know. I don't really recommend putting these in your yard. If you do, I would take them out if you know it's going to rain because the rain just kills these. So at least that's my experience. I don't know if anyone else had that experience, but I just haven't had no luck. So I bought these to use on a reef. So I'm going to pop them off anyway. 
And I did buy, they also have these in like a gnomes. They have three different gnomes and they're on yardsticks. I, I don't know where they're at right now. Um, but, um, cause I always have stuff everywhere. Like I ha I'll have like bags of Dollar Tree stuff in my closet. Then I'll have it out in my car and I'll have it out on the front porch. You know, and then my boyfriend's like, what are you buying now? You're always at the Dollar Tree. It's, it's, it's horrible. Like I'm sure a lot of people feel what I'm saying because the Dollar Tree gets you every time. But yeah, I got three gnome ones. Again, I'm just gonna pop them off of the yard sticks and use them for something else because I'm done putting them in the yard. I mean, granted, they're only a dollar, but I want it to last a little bit longer than like, you know, a couple of days. So, but that is all I have. <laughs> um, so let me know if you have found any of these. There is a couple of things that I am still looking for. Um, I forget what they were. Um, because oh because I've seen like videos of like people taking videos in the Dollar Tree of the Valentine stuff and I'm seeing people finding like signs and tabletop signs that like I had not seen yet so you know I guess like every day I go in there I find something new um so but I'm pretty much done with the Valentine's Day I, I have to actually use it now in like some crafts um but I would love to like start filming some like DIY videos and like some wreathing videos. Um, I'm still getting the hang of this whole YouTube video making thing. So hopefully maybe I can make like a Valentine's swag video. Um, if anyone would be interested in seeing that. I use the Dollar Tree Christmas trees, the green ones. So I use those for my swags. Um, so yeah, um, just leave me a thing in the comments if there's something like you know you're looking for and you can't find and if anyone's ever trying to find something and I showed it and you can't find it like I have no problem like getting it for you and like sending it to you you know um because I know every Dollar Tree in every state is different and we all have different things so and I know it's hard to find things sometimes um and I don't always end up using everything I find so <laughs> um but yeah if there's something you're looking for and you can't find it let me know um if you'd be interested in seeing like a valentine swag video let me know or any other kind of diy videos um i do do a lot of diy stuff and reach i just don't ever film it um i'm not really good with the whole camera filming thing but um yeah this is about as far as i go with the filming but um i can figure it out you know or have my daughter help me <laughs> but i hope everybody has a great week um you know it's cold here on a Monday and um, that's why I figured I would do this while I had everything still in one spot and um, so yeah let me know if anyone wants to see any other kind of videos um, that would help me you know figure out what to post on here so I hope you all have a great week stay safe and I will talk to you soon bye